Keep watching Charis TV. In fact, my message is that I'm sharing to you today. This is my message I want to tell you. This one I've been sent to come and share with you. My message is you need to know yourself, your weakness. That's my message. Discover your weakness. You need to help. If you are coming to a church like this, don't search for a blessing. Search for your weakness. Deliverance from your weakness. Deliverance find yourself overcoming weakness because it, it is the same weakness that is hinder the blessing you are searching. Do you know that even the blessing you are searching it might be smaller than what God wants to give you. You are focusing in something that you saw on someone whereas God wants to give you more bigger so you, you come here began to search why I have this weakness. Because there's no witchcraft here. There's no witchcraft here. You, you know yourself. Are you hearing me? This is my message I'm telling you now. Check your weakness. It might be anger or worry or other things. Why this thing come to me? Those are the things that are hindering the glory. It's a sin that hinders the glory of God. God wants to do something with you. From today, search deep in yourself. In fact, you know yourself. Do you know that there are some people, if you don't leave them, you cannot be what God wants you to do. There are some friends you need to leave them. You know, if you grow up to reach my age, you will understand that even the day you die, your friends won't be there. Because these friends will die yourself if you are going to grow old all of yourself. You find that you won't have power to go and bury your friend. Friendship here in this world is useless. I don't know if you're hearing me. Start to search deep in yourself. Can you tell your neighbor what I'm saying? Search deep now. In your Discover your weakness. After you discover the weakness, you're you are not asking God anything. Because, listen, the Bible says He knows what you want before you ask it. Go and read the Matthew 6. You, go and read the Matthew 6. God knows what you want even before you say it. Do you know what the Bible says? God always, Ephesians 3 verse 20, He always give above what you ask or what you think above. Stop asking things. These things that you are asking are small. Because he wants to give you above what you are thinking. He wants to give you something that you cannot comprehend. I don't know if you are hearing me. We are, we are so much in things that we saw from other people. You, 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 want, you love this car because you saw it. And God wants to give you something that in your family nobody has ever had. Let's start today. What are we going to do? Check your weakness. Ask your neighbor, go stand up and go and ask If them. you are married or you marry, Stand up, go to your friend. I want to ask Mama. Mama. Can you all stand up? You ask people you don't know. And, and then you share with them. Go to someone you don't know. Go to someone you don't know. Leave your seat. Go to a strong subway. Leave that seat. So find someone you don't know. We are in church, don't worry, find someone. And say, what is your weakness? 
and then tell the person your weakness and the person must tell you. Go to the person you don't know. Move from where you are. Move from where you are. If you have discovered how it is the one that is hindering the blessing you are crying for. It is the one that the devil is using to stop you. God bless you. Mm. Yeah. You can sit down. Now, because you did that, expect the hand of God to reach what you are asking. You heard what I said? Huh? Amen. Expect the end of God to do above what you think, what you ask. There's something that I, I will share with you before After I, I discover my weakness. Because weakness, when you are doing them, Satan claim you by them. Satan will claim you by them. to Satan. Satan, after I have discovered my own weakness, can I tell you my weakness? Eh? You won't believe. I discover that I had anger. And I have discovered many, many, many years ago. And my wife said, You know what? I discover I have anger issues. Help me. Because sometimes. I don't understand how I became angry. But I just find myself acting somehow. I don't want to be angry again. Because when I become angry, I do this. Do this. Do this. Uh, that time, I was still working. So when we go to town with my wife, when I'm working, and I was well trained. Well trained. So if I push you, you must be pushed. So, Mama, when I see people, you know, on the street, and you have to walk like this, walk, you know, in town, me, I push them. <laughs> you know, because I had anger issues, you understand? <laughs> so already, when I look at them, I'm angry. They're just, <laughs> okay, I'll hold like Mama here, this other hand. Mama got so So if you resist, I hit you little bit. <laughs> so those that I'm hitting, all of them, they are following. Uh, <laughs> and also, they are doing like this. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> because I'm, I have a freeway here. So freeway here. So, Mama was not liking that. Mama never said she, she hated what I, the way I was doing. But she was not telling me. You know, so, I told Mama, one day I discovered my wife doesn't love this. We are going to church. Worship God. There. Think about your worshiping God. Yeah. Here on the other side, you are just pushing. People. You know, you push people, sometimes you hit them. Like as long this. as yourself, you are free. As long as when it's a male or not. Mama, I say, Mama, because most of the time, I'll push someone, the person for the. I remember I pushed one white man like this. So you went there and came back. And I was already there. 
So I didn't want someone on my way. If he, this man is on my way, when, I, when I come there, I'm coming to do straight to him like this. So that time, I Na pushed physically. So I, I confessed to my mother. I said, Mama, the book of James 5 says we must confess our sins to one another and pray be forgiven and there will be healing. In other words, already I'm sick. I might be knowing I'm sick, but according to the scripture, I'm really sick now. You hold hands with mama. She says, yeah, she's seen that. She wants to tell me, uh, because it looks like it's my life of doing that for years now. She, you know, my wife doesn't want to talk. She doesn't to talk. Pray, pray, pray. So you can see, demons Telling me to to me. Can you see this? Can you see this? No. So that, it means we are in deliverance here. What are the deliverance No. Why you will so we never. In fact, there are some people here who are being delivered from anger right now. Ah. No. Mama, what no. you did? Yeah, all day like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think if you don't know there are demons, even your own demon will manifest soon. Because there are people who think there's no demon. Mama will say, let's pray, we pray. I peace entering me. Entering me. Peace entering me. Since then, for me to be angry, are things of the past. If I tell you that I was angry, what is happening there? You can see there. You can see there. If I tell you I was angry, I'll be lying to you. Even when people do this and that and that, they will just watch there. Why? Because I got peace. Why? Because I got peace. I got peace. I got peace. I got peace. that surpassing all understanding. <laughs> Some of you here, as you are speaking, you are very close to breakthrough. But something come out, a small thing comes out just to make you angry. From there, from there the blessing you you find yourself going this way. And you leave your blessing there. So today, when you are going to confess your weakness, as you have already told someone, you are coming back there. The way is so short. To your own blessing, you are close now. You are Look what is happening here. So now, can you see where the spirit of delay comes from? Yeah. The spirit of delay is coming from your weakness. Tell them you have weakness. Tell them you have weakness. Say, this weakness must be exposed in the name of Jesus. There is a spirit behind the weakness. That is the spirit that will manifest. Are you hearing me? Amen. Amen. And it is the one that is blocking you. One that is delaying. One that is fighting you. Let us all stand. Are you hearing me? Are Say, you spirit. Your spirit. You is behind. You was behind. My weakness. My weakness. I have confessed my weakness. I confess my weakness. Today. Today. You must come.
come out of me. Command that spirit. Command that spirit to leave you. Mention your weakness when you are commanding the spirit. Mention your weakness. Mention your weakness. And say, you who's behind my anger, you who's behind my lies, you who's behind what I do. Mention it. In Jesus' name. Listen, there's a spirit. Are you hearing me? And this spirit is the one. Because a spirit, you can't see it. When you go, it goes with you. When you stand, you go for interview, the spirit is there. Confuses everything. This spirit is the one that is behind your weakness. It has been attracted by the weakness you are doing. If you are always doing what, right, what is right, the spirit will leave you. I don't, I don't know if you are hearing me. If you are doing what is right, the spirit will say, I know. I know. this man has found the truth. We don't have a house here. That spirit house. In fact, that weakness house. That weakness is the food of that spirit. Say, you spirit. You spirit. Behind my weakness. Behind my weakness. Mention your weakness. You say, you spirit. You spirit. Behind my weakness. Mention your weakness. I can't hear you. In Jesus' mighty name. So, you have prayed your prayers enough. What is left is for me to pray for you. God bless you. Sit down.